everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be talking about my first year experience of being a respiratory therapist during this year I did a lot like I traveled I went to different states I learned different charting systems I made a lot more money than a lot of people have ever made in respiratory because of the crisis work I've done I've done a lot that people haven't even done like in 20 years in respiratory so I had a really good first year of being a respiratory therapist and I just want to share my experience with you all so um to begin with I want to talk about my first job everybody knows well if you watch my video that you know my first job I didn't necessarily like because they had me on the floors and I did not like being on the floors I wanted to critically think advance in the respiratory world I did not want to do breathing treatments all day and I felt like that's what I was doing I wasn't really good you know, I had good assessment skills because I was on the floor, but I wasn't really learning, you know, much more than that. And plus they didn't train that long, so it's so like I just I just felt I just knew the job wasn't for me. So that was in Orlando. I will say that I became like an expert on traits and doing good trait care because they were very strict on that, which they should be. Um they were very strict on that, but I became an excellent expert at trait care and I use that to this day you know make sure I do everything that I have to do for trait care I will give them that but overall it wasn't a job for me plus I didn't want to live in Orlando much longer so that's when I applied for my Georgia job and I started working in Georgia like six seven months maybe maybe ten months after um, I started traveling so I started traveling in December with a crisis company and I mainly did COVID just about all COVID I didn't do breathing treatment I was in the ICU and the step down units just you know dealing with like high flows and just different oxygen um, therapies and it was an HCA hospital and I learned um, Meditech so I got really good with Meditech and um, yeah, that's where I met a lot of people from different states. I met people from Mississippi, New York, Georgia, everywhere. So that was a really good experience seeing and just learning from them because different states, they do different things with respiratory. Like how we intubate in Florida and we do A-line insertions, they don't do those type of things. And I know in Orlando, like they even do that balloon pump. I never did it, but I know at Advent Health, they do that balloon pump stuff and then like a lot of people out they don't they don't deal with that at all they don't deal with they don't deal with that at all so you just you know learn the differences um so then I did Tampa because when I was working with the crisis job in um, Dallas I was working six days a week and I was getting a lot of money but it was just it was just a lot for me to handle because I'm not used to working so much so I took a contract that was four days a week in Tampa you could watch that video as well and um, yeah I did a four day a week contract it still was crisis pay still was good money it was about half as much to be completely honest it was like um, 4800 a week but I got to do other things than just work 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 so I like Tampa there they use Cerner and I learned a lot of different equipment. They use like um, Puritan Bennett, which I didn't use since clinicals. And they had the new one, the 980. So they use that ventilator and they also use the Hamilton, which I like the Hamilton. It's a cool ventilator to me. Yeah, those are the two ventilators that they use. They use Airbos and Vapotherm as well. And I was familiar with those already from Dallas. And I think, yeah, in clinicals, they use the Vapotherm. Then I took two months off, which is a good part of traveling. You could take two months off. And then that's when I went to Atlanta and they used all scripts, which I used in um, Orlando. So they used all scripts, the ventilators they used, the servos they used, and the Hamilton. So I was, you know, familiar. So working at these different hospitals, there are a lot of similarities and differences, but you know, some of the things that I learned, I was able to use 
um, my knowledge at different hospitals. So that's, that was a benefit that I got out of traveling all these different places. I learned one thing at one hospital and some things I did know and some things I didn't know, but I was kind of able to put everything together and you know, be the best therapist I could be. So, enough about my travel experience. Um, I just want to give you guys tips about, you know, just being a respiratory therapist in general and things that I learned during my first year. I learned that you need to have the best patient care that you you have and just because a hospital does not have the best patient care just remember who you are just treat everybody like your family member and just your time I know places are short staffed but take your time and do the best of your ability don't rush things if you are night shift and you feel like you're tired all the time and you don't want to give your best ability you need to be straightforward and tell your boss like I just need to be switched to day shift I can't do this I'm like really tired, you know, cause you can't really play around with people's lives. And night shift, a lot of people get sleepy, so it's like they don't do their best effort. So remember that. Always have confidence because confidence is gonna really make you. So when I first had my like, I, it was like my second day by myself in Orlando, I had this trait patient and she was on the floors and it was just so i was just so like nervous and stuff like i was just nervous about everything but i really had no reason to be nervous the patient literally told me don't be she wrote it down and she was like you know don't be scared just do it so um <laughs> Like, this is what I had an issue with. You know, those disposable traits where you have to clip it on. I felt like it wasn't clipping it on. I was so nervous. I thought I was doing something wrong. But honestly, I just needed more confidence. Like, just push it in more. Like, clip it on. It's not that deep. But that's just one thing that I noticed when I first started working. I wasn't really confident because... I was just nervous. I was just nervous about everything because you know, you go from like having jobs where it has nothing to do with saving a life, a patient's life, to actually having so much control over somebody's life. Yeah, have confidence in everything you do. Ask questions. If you feel nervous about something, ask questions. Ask somebody for help. My friend, Rosetti, she was the one that helped me. Um, she came and she had clipped it on. And then when she clipped it on for me, I was just like, damn. That was something so simple. But see, I didn't have confidence in what I was doing. So, um, yeah, always have confidence in um, nurses. So this is something I want to say. When you first start respiratory, you won't notice that like sometimes, no offense to nurses, they'll like try to run you down and try to like kind of bully you sometimes about certain things, like things that they can, you know, do themselves. So for example, another trait story. It was this nurse, a patient, he really had a lot of secretions, you know, like coming out of his trach and everything and she would not suction him like you know you could suction the patient so like when nurses when nurses do things like that they'll call you hey my patient needs to be suctioned he got so many secretions you need to tell them hey you're actually kind of neglecting the patient you could go ahead and do it yourself because they will bully you into thinking you got to do everything they say like for another example, if you go up there and they say, oh, my patient's wheezing, he's shortness of breath, he's, he's, he's nearly about to die. You go up there, the patient is sleep, breathing fine. You listen to them, the patient's not wheezing. They will bully you and think that you literally have to jump for them. But that's when you do, in that situation, you use your assessment skills and you talk to them. You're like, so what, 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 what actually is going on? And I bet you they'll, they'll shut up because they be trying to like make things seem worse than what they are and honestly they're they're not worse than what they are one time i had to tell this nurse okay it's this patient and he freaking is short of breath every time like before after and during the breathing treatment this nurse kept running me down hey his his um breathing treatment is due for 345 345 345 okay girl he gets a treatment every four hours i have other patients than him so that's when i sent her this message and i was like understand that he has this treatment he is shortness of breath before and after and during the treatment 
I have a lot of other patients that I do see and yes he will get his treatment but you do not have to remind me I see it's at 345 so she didn't say nothing when I came up there I texted her that and then I came up there and I said it to her in her face and she didn't say nothing like girl what do you think what do you think we have so many patients and y'all don't have as much patience as us so don't be trying to you know bully me because you ain't gonna bully me that's one thing that i learned i don't be having people bully me anymore with certain certain situations in the hospital but um yeah so what else can i say um charting systems my favorite charting system everybody has used an epic i've never used epic i don't know why i didn't use epic but i feel like i want to use it because you know everybody's using it so i feel like that will be my favorite charting system but my favorite charting system is like cerner because i like when you go all in a row and you don't have to like go to different areas like you do with meditech so um yeah that's my favorite charting system my favorite vent I feel like is the Hamilton because it just I don't know it's all there and I like how it's like straightforward favorite high flow <laughs> I'm not about to get into all these different equipments what's my favorite this and that but overall I like newer equipment I like newer more modern charting systems equipment all that because it's easier like it's 2021 so we need to you know get with the amount for all these different these these things that are outdated but um i hope i told you guys enough about my first experience as being a respiratory therapist i know this video was short but if you guys want more just comment and let me know what you guys want so thank you for watching my video 